Today we're having a look at the coins celebrating the anniversary of the Bathurst 1000. So the Bathurst 1000 is a very famous Australian race that takes place annually. Funnily enough, it's in Bathurst on Mount Panorama. So I'll be completely honest, my knowledge on racing, particularly car racing, actually I'll be honest, racing in general I don't know a lot about, so I had to do a little bit of research for this video, but in doing so I actually learned some interesting facts. So let's begin. In 1936, the first race on Mount Panorama took place, but it was not actually the Bathurst 1000. Interestingly, the first Bathurst 1000 took place on Phillip Island, and that wasn't actually the name of it. It was originally called the Armstrong 500. There you go. It wasn't actually until 1973 that the name was changed to the Bathurst 1000. So when talking about Australian racing in general, the term King of the Mountain is more than likely going to come up. This was a title given to Peter Brock in 1980 when he secured his sixth victory at the Bathurst 1000. My understanding is this is the most amount of victories ever by a racer at this particular race. Another fun fact, and I'm gonna just sidetrack the whole video for a moment here. I, I had told people that that was also the subject matter for a Midnight Oil song, which goes by the name King of the Mountain. Interestingly, the drummer Rob Hurst had said in an interview that it was not actually about that, and it was about a foot race instead. Furthermore, in fun facts, I was at an event in Victoria it was a music event that was put on by the government, so it was a Music Victoria event, and I was volunteering there, so I had the, the fancy volunteer shirt, and in, the, in another section, which was not part of the event that I was there for, uh, it was all roped off, so I decided I had the right shirt on, I'd go in and have a look. I wandered in and there was a big exhibit on, and it, I could tell, it was pretty obvious from the get-go that it was for some sort of old famous Australian band because there was a lot of uh, vintage photos, uh, there was a booth that was set up like an old pub gig with elbows that would stick into your side and there was uh, beer and cigarette butts all over the floor. Long story short, this was a Midnight Oil exhibit and that same drummer, Rob Hurst, was there doing the all the press and that sort of thing. He had cameras in his face and all the lights and that sort of jazz. When he saw myself and my friend there, he worked out very quickly that we were not part of the media. And I'm, I'm going to take my hat off. He came straight over to us and gave us a personalised tour of the entire exhibit. So that was a really surreal experience to go through an exhibition and get a tour from a member of the band who pointed out all the various points of interest and just talked about the history of the band, which was really interesting. I'm shocked at how far off topic I've gotten, but long story short, Rob Hurst, stand-up guy. If you're watching this, thanks for the tour. All right, back to the Bathurst. <laughs> so the race is actually incredibly long. I found out that it goes for usually between six and seven hours. And during that time, I would have expected some pretty serious issues to take place. Um, I'm not sure if it's a lot or if it's not many, but there have been three fatalities in the over 50 years since the event's inception. I'll also confess, I wasn't, I had no idea of the scale of the interest in the Bathurst 1000. So in 2022 alone, there was over 195,000 people that attended. And the attendance record was actually set in 2012 when over 200,000 people turned up for the event. Safe to say it's a pretty big deal. One more fun fact, uh, just east of Bathurst, in a river, funnily enough, named Fish River, was the first registered discovery of gold in Australian history back in 1823. Alright, on to the coin itself. So the mintage is 40,000 and I have no idea what the setup is. I think the vast majority of them have gone to Repco, who are the official sponsors of the race. I'm not sure how they're going to distribute them or what the arrangement will be. Maybe if you go to the event, my understanding is that it's taking place in early October. So maybe going, actually getting in your car and going to Bathurst will be the best way to get these coins because 
from all accounts, coin dealers are having a very difficult time getting their hands on these. Uh, a mintage of 40,000, I would have thought that they were relatively accessible, but across the board, all I'm hearing is reports that dealers are having a very difficult time getting their hands on these. So I apologize in advance, I only have a tiny amount. If you've watched the video up until this point, they're probably already sold out on my website. I'm very sorry about that, but hopefully you can still get them either from the Mint, a post office, who knows, maybe a local Repco store. Does, does Repco even have stores? I, I, who knows, maybe go to the event itself and you'll have a, a bit of luck there, but gee whiz, they're very popular. And I will point out that I actually really enjoy, or I really appreciate, the design on the card itself. The coin, I could take it or leave it. I don't really mind it, but the actual card looks beautiful. I think that's a really nice artistic interpretation of the Mount Panorama racetrack. So there you go, I've waffled on more than enough on the subject, something I don't know a lot about, but I've learned a little bit more about today, and hopefully you have too. Please give the video a like if you learned something new. Uh, this was also the famous racetrack where the iconic rivalry between Ford and Holden uh, took place. I believe it was big in the 80s and carried on ever since. There you go, thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you next time.